Hi, it's Oli. Thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a modern, contemporary classic, the Old Cuban. A cocktail we have on many menus of the Tui Blue Hotels. I'm mixing this drink at the Tui Blue Hotel of Silt in Germany and I will show you how simple it is to mix this cocktail whenever or wherever you're in need of a great Gatsby moment. If you're new to YouTube, feel free to click the notification icon so you don't miss a single one of the new videos we will continue to upload. A like is of course appreciated and please comment as fast as you can type. I'll make sure to reply to each and every one of you. Today we will shake one of the most iconic cocktails of the last 100 years, the Old Cuba. The amazing Audrey Saunders has been and is on a mission to bring classic cocktails to modern day's audiences and in my opinion she belongs to one of the most innovative bar people of today. In 2002 she made history again in her bar The Pigo Club in New York by blending every imaginary small piece of everything great into one champagne cocktail. Basically it's a mashup of a mojito, a daiquiri and a French 75. And as I'm saying that, I'm so ready for this drink right now. So let's start mixing. We need a nice bit of fresh mint. The way to do this is to pull the leaves from the stem because the stem tends to get bitter. We pull it down and then we keep this part of the top. We can keep it for decoration. Our base spirit is an aged rum. I'm using 50 ml, and in this case, I'm using Bacardi 8 or Bacardi Ocho. Sourness comes in the form of fresh limes, and I'm using a tool we bartenders love. It's called the Mexican Elbow. 20 ml. and the sweetness to round everything up. We're using 10 ml of simple syrup. This is so simple because it contains 50% water, 50% caster sugar, and this is to balance the flavors. As we are using two ingredients, champagne, which sweetness widely varies according to brand, and lime juice, where the sourness depends widely on the season, we have to taste test it to check if we need more sugar. I will now shake this drink long and hard. The idea is to bruise more of the mint inside of the shaker and to release the essential oils. Here comes the shake. Never forget to smile. We will double strain this into a croquette. The smell is already amazing. The fine strainer helps us to get rid of the small pieces of mint that would otherwise be in the drink. And now we will top this with champagne. I am using Rodora, but I've also made this drink, of course, with Ruina Blanc de Blanc. Cheers to Mr. Frank. Decoration will be the mint sprig. And since this is a 1920s inspired cocktail, we will be using a golden clothes pin to fix the twig. And here we have it, the old Cuban. Thank you, Audrey. I will try this now. Mm. Cheers. Mm. I feel like I'm in a great Gatsby movie. People dancing all around me, like the champagne bubbles in this drink. It's slightly sour, the rum with its vanilla notes, discreetness of wood and barrel come out nicely from the aging. Oh, this actually does not get better than this. By the way, if you love rum and mint blend with a touch of banana, feel free to take a look at our Tui Blue signature cocktail in Dizi that we created exclusively for Tui Blue Bahari in Zanzibar. So guys, Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this a thumbs up and of course hit the subscribe button. 
And remember, life is good with a great drink in hand, preferably at your Tui Blue Hotel. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you.